It was a very favorable experience. I gotta admit, you know, I had, I had fantastic therapies. The whole thing went smooth and really good for me. I came out of it like feeling like a brand new person, like went from being completely suicidal, you know, broken, stuck, what do we want to call it, to like I had so much excitement for life. That all happened very quickly. But what happened was the after part, right? So again, so when I left and I went from like having no support to having so much support, 24 hour line that I could have called, two therapies available, all the psychotherapy, like, you know, like all the, all the help I, I always miss, you know, kind of like the good parents I never had. I finally found them for like six months and there they're gone again and I'm on the street. So like when, when I was started living on my own again and, you know, for a while it was good. And I think I had my very first relapse when COVID happened. And that was the first time when I was like, oh, wait a second, life continues to bring troubles to you. So there's no end here, you know? So in a way it was as much as how hard it was, it actually became a really great lesson because I dropped those expectations, you know? So I accepted it that this is a long, lifelong process. And I just need to like, keep going. There is, there's no end here. You know what I mean? There's not like, oh, like when the study ends, I'll be cured. You know, like th that's how I used to look at it. I don't do that anymore. And I think as a participant in a clinical trial, a uh, point I'd like to add is, um, wow, it's a bit of a crazy thing to, I, I don't know if you, the scientists in the field feel this, but it's, it's quite a thing to be involved in. So in a way you go into the trial and you want to have the mystical experience. You want to have this work uh, so that can really work for everyone else. So when I didn't have that ego death and transcendence experience in the traditional sense, you come out of slightly disappointed. There's a bit of like cognitive dissonance. Why didn't that work for me? What did I do? What's different with my brain chemistry? But uh, as as Matt pointed on the day, you, you know, I got some really really incredible things may not be what I expected, but they've certainly been the start of a long and healing process for which I've been like irreversibly changed. Um, yeah, and much better for it.